welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am recycling an old piece of clothing into some cute makeup pouches. I am tackling my fear of zippers, which I think I've done a good job. I've mentioned it in some sewing videos before that I've been terrified of zippers because of the first time I tried one, I made an absolute arse of it. But I've been practicing and I've made some zippered pouches from an old skirt. So I'm gonna get straight into the video. Thumbs up for me tackling my fear of zippers. I'll have the chats after. If you're new to my channel, hit the sub button. And I'll get straight into the video and I'm gonna show you how I made these from an old skirt. So this is the skirt before. I got this in the Cat Kitson outlet in Kildare Village. It's a size A, I'm normally a 10. I bought it thinking I'd fit into it, but nope. I started by cutting up the back seam just where the zip is. Then I cut off the waistband because there was pleats in this dress and I got so much more fabric when I took that off and pulled it out. Look how much fabric comes out of one skirt when it's all laid out. You'll also see a blondie was helping me. Double tap, thumbs up if your cat is mad for getting involved and sitting and sleeping on the fabric. I cut out two templates because I made four bags, two of them were different sizes. You can make up your own measurements for this. I had an eight inch zipper. So you can make it as long, as wide, depending on your zipper. And you'll also notice that mine have little boxed in edges. So that's why I have the two little squares at the end because I made boxy pouches. I cut out technically six pieces. You've got two pieces of your actual skirt or your, your fabric. I cut out two pieces of a pink lining, which you're gonna see. And I also cut out two pieces of interfacing just to add a bit of structure and stiffness to my bags. Using an iron, I pressed on the iron-on interfacing. Depends on whichever one you have, just follow the instructions. But I just pressed on the interfacing and I just trimmed off any excess that may have been on it as well before I brought it back into the sewing room and started making my pouches. Here is the zipper. I'm using an eight inch pink zipper that matches the lining of my fabric. So we are now going to make a sandwich. With the lining fabric facing up on the desk, you are gonna place your zipper also facing up. You are then gonna grab your patterned, patterned fabric and face that down. So you're gonna have the three things sandwiched together. Now, I don't have little clamps, but you can use clamps instead of pins to keep your fabric in place. Make sure to use a zipper foot. Um, I just picked mine up cheaply off Amazon. It was only like two or three pounds for a zipper foot. So I am just sewing down, but I left a gap at the top where the zipper is, which you'll see why now. So as you can see, if you were to sew over the zipper, you would get like a wobbly line. So I just pulled it down and stitched that little bit close. So now we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna make another sandwich again. So we are gonna place your lining fabric face up. Then you are going to put, you'll also notice, sorry, that the zipper is facing the other direction. Then you're gonna place your patterned fabric on top and you will have your sandwich once again. Pin it in place, take it to the machine and sew it again. Don't forget to leave a gap for the zipper so you don't get a wonky line. Don't sew over the top of the zipper, the zipper pull I think it's called. So 
So now I'm ironing out the seams on this zipper and I'm going to do a top stitch so I get that really nice professional and perfect zipper, a nice tidy zipper do the top stitch. Make sure just to pull the fabric out. You want it to keep its shape. So now we are going to assemble the bag. This is where you open your zipper. If you don't open your zipper, we will not be able to pull the bag through. So I am matching up the seams. Make sure that they are facing the direction of the lining fabric and the same on both sides. So those two seams of the zipper are facing the direction of the lining. Then you can pin it all in place. If you have any like excess fabric, you can just trim it up and make it nice and tidy. Also leave a gap at the end, which you'll see where I'm gonna leave a gap. This is so you can pull the fabric through. Don't sew the four corners because we are going to box them off to give your pouch the boxy shape. Now we're gonna make the corners. So pull them apart just like I'm doing here. Make sure the seams match. Pop in a pin and we're just gonna do a stitch across it. You're gonna do this on all four corners of your bag. Here is the corners of my bag. Don't worry, I still have the gap at the end because we are now going to pull this through and just like magic, it is going to be facing the correct way. When you pull it the correct way out, you are going to be left with a gap or the hole. You can just run this over the machine to close it. It's going to be on the inside of the bag, so you're not going to see it. You could do a neat hand stitch if you want as well to finish it off. Pop your lining inside and just poke out all of the corners and your bag is done. Well done if you follow this along and you have made your own bag. I'm delighted with how these turned out. Still maybe have to work on my corner, so if you have any tips for the corner of the zipper, I know my sewing teacher taught me something where you can put a piece of fabric um, and you get a nice neat edge on your zipper. So if you do have an, any tips for the corners, I will, I will gladly accept them. One of the main reasons why I wanted to reuse an item of clothing, first of all, I love that skirt. It was a bit snug when I bought it, but it was the only size left. Um, and I bought it with the intention of maybe it would fit. 
um, it, it didn't. Uh, if anything, it got smaller. <laughs> so I wanted to, I didn't want to just throw it out because we have this throwaway culture, especially when it comes to fashion. And one of the things I've been trying to do is be more mindful when it comes to buying things in general, um, but especially with you know fashion and clothing. So I wanted to recycle a piece of clothing instead of just, yes, I could have given it to a charity shop and someone would have loved it. Um, but I also still loved it, I loved the fabric, so I was like, how can I reuse this into something? So I made four pouches and a little drawstring pouch, but I still have a whole panel left from this skirt. Um, I was amazed by how much fabric there was when I cut it open. So I still have a panel left that I could probably make a big drawstring pouch for maybe, you know, when you go and you buy loose veg in the shop, you could maybe throw it in the little drawstring pouch. So just a little idea. If you do want to make a little drawstring bag, I have a video for that. I'll put a card in here and I'll put it on the end screen as well. So you can make these. And the great thing about all of the things I made, you can just make the pattern as big or as small, get a zipper as wide or as narrow, and do whatever you want. You could make these huge, you could do big ones, maybe you have like a knitting bag or something, make them bigger, customize everything to your own requirements. Just on the subject of, you know, recycling clothes, I watched, now it was last year when I watched them, I watched a thing on Netflix, I think it's called The True Cost. It's about the fast fashion industry, and it was really eye-opening. And there was another thing I watched, I don't know the exact name, but I'm sure if you search Stacey Dooley, she did fashion documentary and it was the impact on fast fashion and it was another eye opening. So if you watch anything this weekend, maybe consider watching either of them um, because that was the the nail on the head, the needle, nail, hammer on the, what was the face? Drop. That was basically the thing that made me go, whoa, um, we do have this throwaway culture when it comes to clothes and fast fashion shouldn't really be fast fashion, We it should just be fashion. Um, so just a little thing piece, um, I have been hobbling onto some clothes with the intention of turning them into something else. If you liked this DIY, I have a sewing playlist and I also have a DIY my rubbish playlist as well so you can see me transform some everyday rubbish household items into home decor or pieces you can use in the house. And if you want some simple sewing videos, maybe you're a beginner, I have a sewing playlist. Um, both of them you'll catch on my page so you can get some inspo for more things. <laughs> That's it for this week's video. A cheeky thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs up for me tackling the zippers. I did make one mistake, but I just unpicked it and I started again. I'll also link to a really good video in the description box. There is a video I watched that made me understand how the zipper should be placed to get a perfect type thing. But take your time, make your mistakes. Don't give up when you make a mistake. Learn what you did and you're laughing. So thumbs up. See you all in next week's video. Bye everyone.